What is going on hunters? Welcome back to another edition of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today we're going to be testing out the hunting horn as requested by you guys and we're also going to be taking on two monsters today. An original monster hunter creature called the Kongalala which is a giant pink monkey that likes to fart a lot and I'm, I'm not even kidding there. If you've never played Monster Hunter, you're going to see that happen. And we're also going to be fighting a new monster that is basically the uglier, more dangerous version of the Gypsaro. So we're going to see that in a bit. Um, but first, before I go into the hunt, I did want to show you guys something important about the Hunting Horn. With newcomers to the series, the Hunting Horn has a lot of unique properties. In fact, each weapon has its own set of different music combos that you can actually use that give you different buffs for your your party and your character. Uh, this one that I currently have right now, I actually made it out of the Balladay pieces and I'm actually also using my Balladay armor, which I'll talk a little bit about uh, what kind of stats it comes with. But the Hunting Horn that I have right now gives me the opportunity to increase my attack, increase my defense, increase my attack and defense for my party as a group, and from the looks of it, also I have the ability to remove poison with a specific combo set. And I'll show you guys, hopefully, if that occurs during my my episode I can show you all those properties all at once. Now an important thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about in regards to armor sets is that each specific set combination gives you unique and specific properties that other armor sets do not offer. So for example right now the Balladay set that I have, I actually went and translated this using my Google Translator app. Uh, this first one here, it's actually for speed sharpening. So what that does is right now I have a plus 10 in that ability and as you can see each different piece of my armor gives a little benefit or boost in that. Uh, for example, my head piece gives me plus two, my body piece plus three, and in sets of ten, certain uh, abilities will activate because of that. So right now I have the plus ten ability to sharpen quicker, and there's an even faster one that's plus fifteen, which I would need to either equip some kind of jewel or, or I guess necklace, or even the weapon that I have might even have that passive trait on it. The other two stats that I have here is KO. Um, what that is, is it increases ten percent my stun capability with blunt weapons. So with the hunting horn, I'm actually you're going to have that capability. Um, and then the last trait that I have is actually a negative trait. So sometimes that will happen. In order to get other positives, you will get minuses and other capabilities. So this one right here is a minus 10 in getting monster aggro. So there's a higher chance that the monster that I'm fighting when I'm in a group of people is going to go after me as opposed to my party. Another cool thing too is that here on the left hand side, you can actually see what kind of elemental traits the, the armor set or weapon that you're using has. Right now it looks like I have a water trait, I think that's a water trait, available on my hunting horn. And as you can see that's my damage number there, 58. Uh, other than that, down here my armor set has a plus 2 in water defense and a plus 2 in ice. I believe that's ice, I'm not too sure what that is, I might have to translate that, so if I got that wrong, sorry guys. And a minus 5 in fire damage. So if I get hit with fire damage, it's actually going to do more damage to my character. So always keep these things in mind when you are playing Monster Hunter. Uh, make sure that you have the right set for the different types of monsters that you're going to be fighting. Right now, I don't have too many sets. So for now, it's just really a matter of making sure that I don't mess up and get hit by these attacks. <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, let's go hunt ourselves a giant pink monkey. Alright guys, we're in the swamp area hunting ourselves a Kongalala and uh, one of the main important things that you always want to bring when you fight this monkey is deodorant. That's actually a little blue icon that looks like a puff of smoke right below on the number 5. The reason for that being is any time that you get hit by its fart attack, and I, I wish I was joking but it actually does have a fart attack, you actually have a debuff placed on you where you actually cannot use your healing potions while you have that debuff on. Here are some of the small fodder versions of the Kungala. As you can see, he's going to be a very bright pink monkey. Now, one thing I do want to mention is I've never really used the Hunting Horn in any other Monster Hunter game, so if I'm terrible at it, please forgive me. I just really want to try to show you guys how the weapon looks and functions in this game. Oh, look who it is! We found our prey that was located at the top of a boat somehow on top of a swamp. Alright, so I'm going to figure out how to actually activate the abilities while talking about the Kangala. Now, if you look behind them, you can see that he has a blue mushroom attached to his tail. He actually eats this during the fight at some point when he starts getting fatigued just to replenish himself. And I think it boosts his health too, I'm not too sure. 
All right, forgive me guys. I'm trying to figure out how to use the hunting horn here. I actually uh, want to clarify. I think the red combo actually helps reduce my stamina loss. And I think the blue combo is actually for my attack up. So I apologize if I said defense up before. I think it's stamina loss decreased. As you can see, the Kongal has a lot of different moves available to him. Uh oh, he might fart. He's gonna fart. Oh, and I got hit by the fart. So right now, as you can see, my character has a gross trail of smoke coming off of him, meaning that I need to use the deodorant. There. Clean that right up. And I, of course, forgot to put the paintball on him. So I discovered that there's an alternate note as well. If I hit the two attack buttons at the same time, it does this note, but I have no idea what it actually is, so... Right now, I'm just overriding notes. Not sure why he has some cracks on his anus, but, uh... Oh, it's just, I guess from the damage attacks, it looks like it actually keeps the hit marks on the, the monsters in this game, which is really cool. Now, in previous Monster Hunters, the Kongalala also had the capability of eating food around him, and then either burping out different kinds of status effects, like fire damage, poison, depending on... Oh, I just got hit by that. I kind of miss my gun lance right now, where I can block those attacks. Now, from the looks of it in this Monster Hunter, it doesn't look like he has that capability. They might add it in later on, who knows. Or maybe that's left for one of the subspecies of the Kongalala that are in this game. Oh, my mistake. He definitely has the capability of burping out different effects depending on the mushroom he just ate. I still remember the first time I actually ran into the Kongala was back in Freedom Unite, and the first time I, I, I fought him, it was just horrible. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know the status ailments that were happening to my character. I kept wondering why I couldn't even heal my character. So just make sure you do always bring in to battle when you fight the Kongala, the deodorant, just in case of anything. I've made him dizzy. Ooh. So as you can see, it's not a yellow star that appears on the top of his head like other monster hunters, but right now, he's actually confused and just attacking at random at the moment. Because of the stun effect that I gave on his forehead. And that was the Kongalala! Now the only thing that we need to do now to celebrate is rock out with my guitar. Aw oh, yeah. And for our next hunt, we're gonna be taking on now the Cramine, which is again, it looks very similar to the Gypsaros, but it has a lot of new properties and attacks that make it very difficult to fight compared to the regular Gypsaros. Now, before I go on the hunt, if you look behind me, you'll see a little uh, cat chef uh, cooking away in his little stand there. It's actually something that they added in the most recent patch. Normally, you'd have to go into the other zone to actually eat uh, a meal and actually get boosts. But this is something that you can actually do every fight before you go. You can actually go sit down here, have a meal, and get a status boost for your character. So I'm going to show you here how that works. God, that is adorable. Look at that meal. I'm just going to town. That's definitely one thing I really enjoy about this game is the fact that anytime you go on the hunt, the map can actually drastically change in appearance. Uh, for example, uh, we haven't actually encountered the nighttime portion of this desert stage yet where you need to actually take a hot drink instead of a cold drink to keep yourself from freezing at nighttime during the desert. Alright, we found ourselves the cram mine. As you can see, it's very, very ugly. He's got a big head of red hair on his head. I'm gonna get a hit here while I start playing my guitar. Now, the cram mine actually looks like he spits out acid from the looks of it, and. When he does spit it, what ends up happening is it inflicts your character with burn effect. So that means that you'll catch on fire and you'll have to roll a few times to put it out. He also has a wide range of AoE style attacks that are very dangerous. You gotta be very careful about it. Now, 
when the Kremlin actually buries his head into the ground, what ends up happening is that he... Oh, he's gonna do it right here. So, the best thing you can do here is just run. Those little pieces that fell to the ground actually detonate after a while. And he could actually use his wings to blow it towards your character like that. The first time that I fought the Kremlin, it was actually with the Gun Lance. Oh, well, he looks like he's flying away already. And I believe that he is actually resistant to fire, so the fight took a little bit longer. You always want to make sure that once you start fighting the monsters and you start being able to build their armor, look at their weaknesses, because then you can actually decide what to prepare your character with so that you're ready for the fight and you can inflict the most possible damage to them. Okay, here he's gonna set up a big set of explosions. Which I got hit by. And I gotta put out my fire fast. Now the fact that I was able to stun him really does come from the fact that I'm I currently have that special capability with my armor set where it increases my KO damage. Oh, oh, oh. He is definitely not happy. Let's see if we can cause some status effects again. I'm actually really enjoying the the hunting horn. I've never actually had a chance to really use it in other Monster Hunter games. So this is definitely something new to me. Oh, got hit by one of those. I shouldn't have been playing the, the horn there. Now, I'm actually not a big fan of the Kremine's armor set. It actually looks kind of silly. It looks almost like clown armor. I, I get that's the honestly the best way that I can describe it. It looks like clown armor. Also, if anyone knows what the purple note does, please let me know. I haven't played enough the hunting horn to really understand some of the capabilities. I really thought you only had the one set of notes for the weapon and then that's all you could use, but I guess uh, that's not the only thing that's available for you. So the Kremon tried to get away right now. He's trying to rest up because he's almost dead. Let's see if I can get him stunned or finish him off here. And as you can see, it didn't wake him up right away because right now my game is lagging out. So hopefully I don't die here in a second. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Oh no! I'm almost dead. Gotta love lagging out. Now this can happen sometimes when you are playing Monster Hunter Online. Honestly, it doesn't happen too frequently, thankfully, but when it does, it can be a bit annoying. Need to place a few more hits on his head, and there we go. That is it. And now, we celebrate by rocking out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Hunting Horn episode, and also uh, checking out those two monsters. Next episode, we're actually going to be using the Dual Blade, so I hope you guys all look forward to that. And we're also going to see what new monsters this game has in store for us. So keep the requests coming, I love hearing from you guys, and I'm looking forward to showing you more and more stuff from Monster Hunter Online as the series progresses. So I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level.